To install a dev file on the Raspberry Pi, open up the terminal and navigate to the dev file. Then use the apt install command to install the app on the Raspberry Pi. Using this command will ensure that all the dependencies are installed as well, so that everything your app needs to run on your Raspberry Pi is there and ready. In this video, I'm going to take you through that in a little bit more detail. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you're getting the right dev file. The dev file needs to be the one that's right for your operating system running on Raspberry Pi. Now for most people, that's the 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. So you need to make sure that you're using the 32-bit dev file for ARM processors. Now what that looks like is that if you open up a, a page of pre-compiled binaries, then you're probably going to see that there's one for ARM HF, or there might be one for ARM V7. Now that's the 32-bit version. If you're trying out a 64-bit operating system, like the new 64-bit Raspberry Pi, then you're going to be looking for the ARM V8 or the ARM64 name instead. The reason this is important is that you have to be able to download the uh, compiled code that's going to run on your Raspberry Pi. There's no good, there's no point downloading the compiled code for a different process or a different operating system because it's just not going to work. There are some workarounds like Box86, but that's a topic for another video. So the second step, now that you've identified the right dev file, the second step is to save the file to the Raspberry Pi. That's as easy as opening up Chromium and downloading the right file to your Raspberry Pi, or alternatively, you can use the wget command in the terminal. Now, I found most of the times that you want to install a dev file like this, it's saved on GitHub. So you can navigate to the GitHub uh, using search and finding the right file, and then downloading there. Or alternatively, sometimes uh, the installation instructions will give you a URL to download the file from, and then you can use wget in the terminal. So it's as simple as wget, and then the URL to the dev file that's uh, the one you need. Okay, once the file is saved on your computer, the third step is to install it using apt. So open up your terminal and navigate to where you've saved the dev file to. If you downloaded it using Chromium, then it will be saved in the downloads folder. So if you type in CD and then the little tilde slash downloads with a capital D, the terminal will now be located in the downloads directory and allow you to use that command apt install dot slash and then the name of the file. So the dot slash tells the apt command to look in this folder for that file, to install that file. Now, as I've done in the video, you need you probably need to put sudo, S-U-D-O before, to say that you're the super user installing this app. Now, while installing, apt might ask you to confirm uh, various dependency installations, and there's no problem doing so. As to some of the things that can go wrong, if you get an error message that says architecture not supported, then that means that the dev file you downloaded isn't designed for ARM processors. Uh, now, the Raspberry Pi has this ARM processor inside it, unlike uh, your desktop computer or your laptop, which has an x86 processor inside. So if the error is telling you architecture not supported, it means you've done it. Now, there may not be an ARM dev file available, and that's how you've ended up with this uh, architecture not supported one. And uh, that's where it gets a bit tough. One of the biggest challenges I found with Raspberry Pi is where apps that I want to run aren't supported. So some of the things you can do to overcome this are compiling the app from source yourself, uh, a lot of open source apps will have instructions on how to compile the code for your processor, where supported libraries might not be available for ARM in Raspberry Pi, and they might need to be compiled as well. You need to install all the uh, tools to compile open source programs on your Raspberry Pi, which you, use, you can do using apt. And it's just a big headache. Uh, an alternative is using something like Box86, which can run x86 apps on ARM processors for Raspberry Pi. So that's a topic for another video. So hopefully by this stage, you've been able to get your uh, dev file installed. If there are any other problems, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.